M0FXB. Welcome to my channel, Digital Ham Radio Diary. M0FXB had a question asking me what kind of lead are we using in the USB connector that is in the ICOM ID52. So if you look here at the connection, one side's flat, one side's curved, and that is the USB Micro B. It's not the C type, which is curved all the way around and can be put in any way. On this, on the ID52, it can only go in one way, and that's really important. So it's underneath this flap above the DC input. Now this is no different, this connector is no different than the one on your, say, Samsung phone. It's the same kind of connector, but it's the B type. So let's show you the lead. So one end is, is, uh, is the lead that goes in the radio, as you can see, like so. And then you can have, generally, we're gonna plug it into our PC. So it's gonna look like this, normal USB that you'd expect. But you can have, say at one end, a USB-C, and you could plug one end into your Android phone. And I have seen that when you do this, it actually charges the ICOM 52. So any five volts that are going in here are gonna charge the 52. Now, check with the manual, check with ICOM, but you you know, the higher the amp, the faster it's gonna charge the battery. Um, I think you'll find generally your average home charger is gonna be between one and two amps. Um, so there you go. Um, I'll just read what ICOM say about the lead. ICOM say the ID52 has a multi-function USB port as well as USB host function for charging the ICOM battery packs. PC programming read write contents to the micro SD card, terminal stroke access point mode support, as well as CIV control, as well as audio. So that's what ICOM say in the manual. Now there is a whole menu section dedicated to the USB lead. So let's have a look. So we'll go menu, set, and go to function menu. And you've got, well, you've got a load of CIV commands, which is very similar to what you would see on the 7300 or the 705. In this one, you've got CIV commands for Bluetooth as well. And look again, board rate, ETC. But you know, the real one we're looking at is the USB. So in the USB connect, we've got charge only, serial port, or SD card mode. So my guess is, because I haven't really used this much, is the top one is charge only. The next one is for functions that require the radio to behave as if it has a serial port. And then SD card mode, I would say, yeah, that's for transferring data to your SD card, or maybe when you connect the lead to your programming software, um, the SD card mode uh, may, may be appropriate. Try it out, let me know. Let's back out. USB serial port function. So here's what you've got here. CIV echo back off, on, and DV data. Let's select them. So quite a few things here. Go like so. Just going through it myself. Yeah, so as far as I can see, you go to USB connect and you're choosing choosing one of the three. Then you go to USB serial function, and again you're choosing one of the three. So I think that's it. So let's go back to menu and then back out. So when the charging cable is plugged in, it does show here that it's charging. You do need to install the driver for the ICOM 52 as well before you connect this lead, if you wanna use it with your computer. Once the correct software is installed, driver, I will show you what the computer sees and what the radio does. I'll also show you what it looks like when it's charging. So when it's charging, you get the little electric sort of sign where the battery charging amount is. If you unplug it, it goes back to how much charge you've got left in the battery. 
All the transceiver power is taken from the battery and never taken from the charging supply or DC supply. If you change the settings and you're not sure what the default is, select the, the item, click, click the quick button here at the bottom and you can select default. This goes for each of the items. As far as I can see, you can use any micro USB-B cable, but look out for the ones that are charge only. You do want one that will pass data. I can't see that ICOM have made a cable for this, but one that has screening or ferrite rings I think would be more appropriate. I'll put a link in for the USB driver download. These are the files. 6432. This is the latest one. 64. Select install. Select finish. Serial device. SPCOM. Connected to computer. I hope this helps you understand the USB connector on your ICOM ID 52. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. 73, all the best.